This clip is from the commentary in a previously posted video. For the full video, click the link at the end of this video. We just watched 20 minutes of promos from Direct Ticket Pay Per View co branded with Blockbuster on Direct TV during a countdown clock in October of 2002. Direct TV devoted specific channels to pay per view showings of movies, sports, and specials. A customer could buy a particular title and unlock its channel, usually for a day or two. What you saw in this video is what ran between those pay per view showings. DirecTV referred to their promos as previews. They ran them beside a countdown clock on the right side of the screen. In this video, we saw something different. DirecTV's Direct Ticket co-branded with Blockbuster. This is actually more than just co-branding. DirecTV's Blockbuster pay-per-view channel offered more recent movies. Most of the movies, in fact, were less than a year past their release dates. Back in 2002, big-name movies could still take a year or more to make their way to pay-per-view. But in this video, we saw some movies from earlier that very same year that were already being shown on pay-per-view. For example, the movie Clockstoppers ran in theaters in the spring of 2002, but by October, it was already running on Blockbuster Direct Ticket pay-per-view. That's just seven months later. The same was true of the movie Resident Evil. It also ran in theaters that spring. In fact, most of the films we saw promoted were released less than a year before making their way to Blockbuster Direct Ticket pay-per-view. These include Showtime with Eddie Murphy and Robert De Niro, Joe Somebody with Tim Allen, Dragonfly with Kevin Costner, Collateral Damage with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Amelie, The New Guy, Super Troopers, and even Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. It's clear the direct ticket and blockbuster branding on pay-per-view was reserved for more recent releases as opposed to just regular direct TV pay-per-view. Among the other promos in this video, there are some real standouts that deserve to be highlighted. The best by far is the WWE Halloween promo featuring a grumpy Pete Rose who refuses to give out candy to kids dressed for Halloween as WWE superstars because their costumes don't scare him. By the end of the promo, he opens the door to find the real Kane from the WWE who thoroughly scares Pete as he grabs him by the throat. Following that, the kids ransack his house as he lies unconscious on the porch. There's also a general blockbuster pay-per-view promo featuring a song sung to the tune of the Beverly Hillbillies. You can tell they were having a lot of fun with the concept, finding creative ways to promote the channels. We also saw a strong presence of wrestling and mixed martial arts on pay-per-view in 2002. There were promos for the WWE, TNA, and UFC. In 2002, wrestling was still dominant as ultimate fighting was starting to enter the scene on a larger scale. There were upstarts in wrestling like the TNA, which came onto the scene in May of 2002. TNA stands for Total Nonstop Action. The WWE was also a new thing in 2002. Before that, it was the WWF, which stood for World Wrestling Federation, but they had to change the name after the World Wild Fund for Nature sued them for use of the letters and won in a UK court. In May of 2002, the WWF officially changed its name to the WWE, which stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. In 2002, the UFC was still coming back from nearly going bankrupt in 2000 after Senator John McCain tried to ban the sport and convinced 36 states to pass laws banning what was called no-holds-barred fighting. Cable channels didn't want to run UFC events because of the controversy, and the organization had trouble finding venues for their fights in states for the very same reason. UFC was still on DirecTV at the time, but in a very limited way. In 2001, the UFC got new owners who secured athletic sanctioning and worked to repair the organization's reputation and expand it back into cable and pay-per-view. In this video, we got to see how far the UFC had come in a little over a year and a half after nearly going out of business. Eventually, the UFC would become so popular and profitable that by 2023, they bought and merged with the WWE, holding a controlling stake in the new company. The new company goes by the name TKO on the New York Stock Exchange, which stands for Total Knockout. We even saw a pay-per-view promo for a compilation of old wrestling superstars called Monsters of the Mat. That shows you just how popular wrestling was in 2002. We also got to see some promos for pay-per-view concerts and specials like Melissa Etheridge, Nickelback, Bon Jovi, 
and La Viva Musica, a concert featuring Latin music. There were promos for comedy specials too, like Cedric the Entertainer and Shaq's comedy All-Star Roast. Overall, the promos were kind of light on traditional sports, but we did see two promos for soccer matches. Overall, you can see if you had the money, there was a lot to watch on pay-per-view and a lot of choices beyond just movies. We rented a lot of pay-per-view movies on DirecTV in the early 2000s, and back then you could still record them, which made it more attractive. Today, Copy Protect prevents that. These promos and Countdown appeared between airings of the movie Clock Stoppers, which is a fun little Nickelodeon movie about stopping time directed by Jonathan Frakes. Unfortunately, it didn't do well at the box office. Maybe a lot of people like me just waited for it to show up on pay-per-view. Well, those are my comments for this video. If y'all like these kind of videos, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro-themed videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This clip was from the commentary in a previous video. For the full video, click this link. Keep watching for more retro videos and commentary videos like this. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by Stockagogo.com. Stock photos.